The Tree of Life tells us the story of evolution and of how all life is related to a common ancestor. The trunk of the tree represents the first life on Earth, and as time passed and species diversified, the trunk split into a number of branches. There are millions of species alive today, and each species is represented by a leaf on the Tree of Life. One zoom is a new way to visualise this Tree of Life, together with all the information it includes. At the moment, there are only very limited ways of visualising the tree of life, and they can only visualise very small portions of it. Additionally, uh, there's not space for extra information. We might want to put photographs, maps, pictures of fossils demonstrating evolutionary links, and OneZoom can include all those additional details. When you first look at OneZoom, it looks rather like a tree, but it's also like a map in the sense that you have areas that you can zoom into if you're interested to see further information there. So within mammals, for example, you could zoom in on primates and then you would see within that old world monkeys, new world monkeys, apes, tarsiers, lemurs, you could zoom in on any of those and you would find further details. And I think that's a very natural way of displaying large and complex amounts of information because it's the same way that we explore the real world. We move closer to objects of interest to see them in extra detail. In recent years, we have been flooded with huge amounts of data thanks to computer technology. And because of that, it's now increasingly important to find new ways to visualise that information. I think one of the problems, in fact, is that although we've used computers to get this information, we are still visualising on the screen of the computer in a way that we can press the print button any time. And in fact, that's no longer necessary because we mostly view the information on the screen itself. And OneZoom embraces that by giving users a way to explore the data that would not be possible when it's printed because you, you may need a piece of paper bigger than the observable universe to print it out. But with Zooming, you can access every part of it in a natural way. After decades of effort, scientists are now probably only a year away from having the first draft of the complete tree of life. And it would be a great shame if having built it, we have no way to visualise it. Also, it's very important if you have a large and complex data set that you have a way of visualising it and exploring it to see emerging patterns and information that come out of that data. Members of the public who are interested We'll hopefully go to our website and explore the mammal tree to find their favourite species of mammal. We also hope that they'll follow our updates on Twitter where we'll be explaining how the project is developing and over the coming years it will grow hopefully into representation of the complete tree of life, including not just mammals but all vertebrates and maybe even all life.